Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Healings are already taking place in the spirit. I sense a very strong healing anointing in this place. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and it healed your disease. I am the Lord. Your healer. I am the Lord. The Lord is healing sick bodies right now. That he led thee. I am the Lord. I'm your healer. I sent my word. I am the Lord, your healer. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in Tell you the Holy Spirit is resting, is finding habitation. Father, have mercy and grace. Thou art welcome in this When the Spirit takes over your soul, when the Spirit takes over your soul, you will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul for he's the holy ghost spirit of the living god he's the holy ghost scepter of the king of kings you're the holy Holy Ghost, seal of the age to come. You're changing everything. And 
I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. I will forever sing your praise. I will sing of the wonders of the world. I will sing. I will sing of the wonders of your word, and I will forever sing your praise. Thank you. The way God has been interrupting our services through the week, we are in strange seasons of the glory because God is opening portals. God is opening scrolls, showing us the mysteries of the kingdom. I'm not just singing, this is a sound from heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May you hear this sound in your spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prophesied as I was commanded. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please follow me instrumentally. I'm not singing. It's a chant in the spirit. Hallelujah. upon the wings of this sound oh great one see now a shake na 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 see ne de de go so na 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 right upon the wings of this sound yeah may it echo in your spirit man When the shofar blows, it's a sign that the season has Emmanuel, 
when you come to rest this is a dimension of god that the church has lost the meeting point between men and the presence of god Emmanuel, and the church will see your only face Emmanuel, when you come to reign Hallelujah You have won the victory Sikata baba kala bada da 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 Hallelujah You have won it all for me just that part, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You won it all for me. sure you participate in the worship it's part of the teaching the presence of God is heavy and mighty in this place we will shout for your glory This is the part of the song that I like. It. Oh, 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 Sing
Amen. May this place remain the habitation of your presence, oh God. There is a strange wind, physical wind, physical wind that I see in the spirit and it's going to blow inside this place. A real physical wind. You will feel it start happening right now. A real wind is the wind of the spirit. A real physical wind. Physical wind. Blow, oh great wind. Even as I've seen in the spirit, a real physical wind. Changing, transforming. I don't mind waiting. We're not in a hurry. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. For who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth. Look, the Lord is doing something tonight. Let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing. Who is there like you? No one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? No one beside you. I lead the earth. I lead the earth to. Jesus, this is what this is all about, and we give you the glory. We thank you for your mighty presence. We thank you for the miracles, for the healing. Thank you because you're already changing the mindsets of people. Doing what mortal words cannot articulate. Jesus. Something special. Supernatural. About the name. Something happens when we call his name. Something happens when I mention your name. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we submit to what you are doing. I will praise the Lamb. Of God who sits upon the throne. Sam, help me. I, I will, will worship him and give, and give the praise to, to him alone. alone. He who was and is and needs to come, I will sing before, before his throne forever. Sing 
This is all you do with us tonight. We are grateful. There is only so much we know about the presence of God and its power to change. The Bible says, Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Bless us, O oh God, tonight. We're not ashamed to bask in your presence. This is the place of true power. This is the place where burdens are lifted. This is where you are separating men. worship him your flesh may be weak but there is an ascendance that is happening to your spirit sing hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah
like you to just whisper it to the Lord and say, I'm available. Lord, I'm available. Pray it. Turn it to, into a, a solemn prayer. You're with him alone tonight. I know we are here corporately. I'm truly available. Even if this is your first time tonight, This is how to walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you what happens to you when you are exposed to God's presence. Your flesh will start fighting you. Your mortal physical body we start finding excuses as to why you are tired. It's because something is happening. Many of us have not mastered the art of taming the flesh to stay in the presence of God. Once you raise a worship song, you suddenly begin to feel, I'm tired. I need to, I, I'm looking for something. It's not like you're really tired, brothers and sisters. No flesh can stand in his presence. When your flesh is compelled to submit to the influence of his presence, you will become a wonder. His power can flow through you. The energy, the ability of the spirit. You don't just need a transformation of the mind. You need a total alignment. An alignment. Where something happens to you, not just in your spirit, not just in your soul, but your physical body your physical body when you bask in the glory of God I'm telling you it affects your physical body your mortal body every fiber of your cell every fiber of your blood your body comes under the influence of that cupboard that weight of his glory that's what will melt every sickness that's what will set people free Hallelujah. Please be seated. Good evening and God bless you. If you can, sit down. If you cannot, the meeting is already on. I love to worship. And I love to praise I bow before you Lifting you I I worship your holy name I love to worship I love to praise I bow before you Lifting you I You are being renewed. Listen to me, please. You are being changed. These seats are vacant. Can we have one or two people occupy these seats, please? Hallelujah. Please fill up every vacant seat. Just come quietly, find a place and sit. God bless all of you standing. You may be standing now, but I assure you, a day will come you will sit. Yeah, the Bible says the word is able to give you an inheritance. Lord, if your healing people in this season, don't do it without me. Mali Paradashia. Don't do it without me. Oh Lord, if you're changing cities in this season, please don't do it without me. That's always my prayer. Don't do it without me. 
Oh Lord, as you're leading people into your glory, don't do without me. Don't do it without me. Hallelujah. See, listen. If you take seriously the things I'm teaching you, it will shock you what you will become. It's a programming. Listen to me. What you are receiving is a programming. It's making you become something. It's aligning you spiritually so that the reality of the kingdom can find expression through you. This is what God desires. Not just when you are standing on stage. Hallelujah. There is an alignment through the songs. Even if you don't hear anything, the atmosphere does something to you. There is a change the presence of God. This is the factor that you need in your life, brothers and sisters. Power is not enough to change people. There is, there is a way you can align to the Holy Ghost that you become a living wonder your physical mortal body carries heaven hallelujah and that everywhere you go you become an envoy i did a teaching envoys of his presence you don't have all the time to start teaching people sermons brothers and sisters there are times you will need to let the presence alone speak become our passion in this place it pays to walk with God it pays God is speaking to someone here tonight you need to win the war in your heart and give up the flesh hallelujah praise the Lord I'm going to make an altar call right now hallelujah there are people who have been fighting to submit totally to the Spirit. And he's giving the devil access to destroy your life. You know what I'm talking about. There are so many of you outside. There are many of us inside. Hallelujah. This is what is keeping many of us in bondages. This is what gives the devil legal access tonight. Tonight. I'm going to make an altar call right now, even before I continue. Don't mind what I'm doing. Let me just do my stupid thing on the stage. This is the Holy Ghost doing what he's doing. This is koinonia. Hallelujah. There are people who need to win this war tonight. The struggle is over. You, you can't keep fighting with destiny forever. You may be sitting and people may be looking at you, but we're struggling. There is this war between Cain and Abel. The spirit and the flesh. Hallelujah. As I count three, I want those people to get up, jump up on your feet and come out here right now. One. Lord, if you're healing people in this season, don't do without me. Don't do it without me. Please, if you are not sure of why you are here, go back to your seat and think again. Please, we are not, we are not playing games. We are really... Look at me. Hold on. Praise God. I, I appreciate your sincerity, but we are not playing games. If you are coming out here, you are really telling the Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired. Win this war tonight. I make up my mind for real. 
Hallelujah. Just come, there's still some space. I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart Lord I will bow Lord I will bow to you to no other God but you listen Jesus said something he said Satan cometh to me and does not find anything Satan come to me many of us it's not that we don't love God this has been my message he is not a priority there are so many things we believe that deserve our time and our attention because we live in a society that convinces us that spirituality makes us failure who can compare to you Great is the measure of your royalty, O morning star, you truly are everything. Listen, look at me, those of you coming out. You can win this war tonight and say, Lord, take over my life. Take over. I don't care who is watching me. I'm, I'm sick and tired of this fake life. There are many of you who are supposed to join them. You are sitting smiling and the Holy Ghost is talking to you and saying this is serious business. Join them quickly. There are many of you outside. Lord, you are everything to me. Is my treasure my priority? Who can compare to him? Nobody. Great is the measure of his royalty. Oh, more. You truly are everything. Listen. If that Isaac in your life that makes God of less value does not leave you, you will never experience the power of God. Take it from me. Don't let anybody fool you. I've told you there are some things in the kingdom that are not gifts. They are rewards for serious people. It's part of the justice system of heaven. For many of us, it's boyfriend and girlfriend that won't let us get serious with God. For many of us, it's money. Ah, you want money. For many of us, we are just careless and vulnerable. And it may not be your fault. We came from backgrounds where priority to the things of God is seen as being strange but let me tell you something when you come for koinonia what you see is a new culture you don't see Yoruba culture here or Hausa culture or Igbo culture or or another culture south south culture we divorce those things to pick the excellency of the culture of the kingdom and in a kingdom, there is no democracy. The entire citizens look up to the king and his agenda. Many of you believe in God. Tonight, will you submit to his government? This is the true place of power. Take me to the place. The place you are. It's the secret place. That's where I want to be. I tell you, you will command power and authority when you stand in that realm. The place you are. It's 
the secret place. Those of you standing, can you sing it with me? Take me to the place. Come on. Take me to the place. The place you are. The secret place. That's where I want to be. That's where I want to be. There are many of you that need to take your phone, look at me, and send polite but serious text messages to certain people and say, I've been playing with the issue of God being my priority. But right now, Mr. Man, I mean business. See, let me tell you if you are ashamed of this, I can guarantee you, brothers and many of our parents were ashamed of this decision and they are paying for it bitterly. They went to school, but they are still paying. The remedy from the tragedy that comes with this system, this fallen system, is to walk in the spirit. Lift your hands, those of you in front, and cry your heart to God. Those of us seated, join them. In one minute, say, Lord, I take you seriously from today. Pray. Take away every Isaac, oh God, that will not stop me from being serious. Some of you are ashamed of the mockery that comes with carrying the cross. Man, tata, kapa, ladabagai. Pray. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God unto salvation. Those of you standing cry. Come on. This is between you and God. This is your koinonia tonight. Lord, I know you desire to use me. But what is this weight? It says, seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight. Every weight. Every weight. Every weight. Take it, oh God. Take it, whatever it is. And mean it from your heart. Ladies, pray. Lord, take it away. So that I can rise to a realm higher than what I have seen. So that I will command the authority of the kingdom. So that I will be trusted with the mysteries of the kingdom. The Bible says the secrets of the Lord are not with them that are born again. With them that fear him. Them that fear him. He will show them his covenants. Let your Christianity last. Let your Christianity last. No mood swings with God. Kill it tonight. No mood swings with God. I love you whether there's money or not. I love you whether there's job or not. Come on, pray. I love you whether there's marriage or not. Children or not. Academics or not. Carryover or not. Lord, you are more precious than silver. Lord, you are more costly than gold. Sing it with me. Lord, you are more beautiful than diamond. There is nothing compared to you. Hallelujah. Our time is fast spent. If this is all we do tonight, no problem. I wanted to teach something about the mysteries of the kingdom. One of the mysteries of the kingdom is the mystery of having more. In the kingdom, you have more by losing what you have. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's a strange mystery. It says, whosoever loves his life will lose it. But whosoever loses it, you want power, lose the strength you have in yourself. And you will get a higher one. You want wisdom. Lose the one you have. Break it like an alabaster box. And pour it on his feet. 
and say, Lord, take the intellect. I know I went to school, but I can roll on the floor for the excellency of another. You must lose what you currently have. Otherwise, you will never get it. A higher dimension. I pray for you. Say after me, those of you standing, Lord Jesus, I mean business with you. Many of you, as you are praying, the power of the Holy Ghost will come strong upon you. Because this is what the Holy Ghost has been waiting for. He's been seeking you for a long time. Hallelujah. I mean business with you. I make up my mind tonight that you are my priority. I not only believe in Jesus, I submit to the government of heaven. Every Isaac in my life that stops me from rising higher, I give it tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for these ones in the name of Jesus. They have come because they mean business with you. Transform them. Some of them are men of God. Some of them are women of God. Some of them are great leaders. Some of them have seen your hand in a measure. I pray in the name that is above all names. Help them. In the name of Jesus. May grace to lose what you have be given to you. That you will get something higher. That nothing in this earth can compare with it. I break every ungodly association. Look at me. And I announce this to everybody. Hear me inside and outside. You are not truly born again if your association does not change. I'm going to repeat it. You are not truly born again if your association, especially the association that kept you in sin, there's no such thing that I'm born again and my best friend is still that person, I will change him. Uh -uh. When it was time for Moses to be changed, he left Egypt and went and stayed with God, was trained when he had that stature, God sent him back to Egypt as a deliverer. You don't stay in Egypt and get transformed. Hallelujah. There are many of us. You have three or four people. Your friends. They drag a lady and they are coming to sleep with her. And you are there. You are a Christian. But you don't, you don't like it. But there's nothing that can be done about it. And then you are in the room there. You are watching. You didn't sleep with the lady. But a seed has been sown in your life. You are going to go and pray. And you are thinking of all kinds of things. Your spiritual stability has been distorted. And it will take a long time for you to get back your footing. But I pray for you tonight. The hand of the Almighty is upon you. You will leave this place transformed. Please go back to your seat. Give me 15 minutes or so. And we'll be up. And then... things now God has been interrupting what we're doing in this place the message I preached last week was not even the message that I plan to preach this week again and every time you see God stepping in like that is because we're entering seasons I told us about the seasons of greatness like Noah I will keep announcing it until we step into the reality of it Noah kept saying something kept saying something and this is not just empty confession hallelujah grant us grace oh god in the name of the lord jesus christ can we just look at something small
We're talking about the mysteries of the kingdom. Um, for time's sake, our time is already gone. I will just pick something really, just an aspect of what I want to share. Um, and then we'll just pray. I want to teach us tonight how to enforce the kingdom in our lives. How to enforce the kingdom. Matthew 6. Ah, Jesus inspires me. Goodness. I began to read this, the parables of Jesus. And I mean, those parables were just hitting me like arrows with mysteries. Hallelujah. If you're ever caught up to heaven or the realm of the spirit and you ever see God or angels, the proof that you truly saw God or anything divine is that you will return with more questions than the answers you got. You will come back with a lot of information but you will come back so confused. Your dependence in the Holy Spirit will increase as a matter of life and death because of the mysteries. Brothers and sisters, this kingdom is a kingdom of mysteries. I shared with us already that a mystery is a secret truth. A mystery is a hidden truth. Hidden truth hidden truth there are some mysteries that we have to really look at we may not we can't touch all of them that's to say we are reading we are exploring the bible from genesis to revelation but there are a few mysteries we have to touch one of it is enforcing the kingdom maybe next week we'll discuss the mystery of marriage not relationship and family talk at all the mystery of marriage the bible calls it a great mystery Ephesians. That means no unbeliever can truly understand marriage. It's not about age. Anything that is a mystery is only given to the sons of the kingdom to understand. Hmm. He said it is given unto you to know the mysteries. So men can see, the Bible says, so that they seeing, they may not see, they can understand. Hearing, but they will not get it. But there is a mystery. When you understand this, you must be a good husband. The mystery of marriage. When you understand it, you must be a good wife. Whether you pick a wife from Borno and a husband from Niger Delta, no problem. A great mystery. Paul, there were few things in the Bible that Paul called a great mystery. He said, behold, I show you a mystery. And I told us last week that there are certain people by the election of grace, they are called stewards of the mysteries of God. Stewards, stewards, custodians, caretakers of the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Enforcing the kingdom. What is the kingdom? The influence of the king. What is the kingdom? The summation of the value system, the ideologies of the king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sorry, I may have to rush. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Enforcing the kingdom talks about reproducing the reality of the king's culture. The king's culture. That's the best way to put it. A culture is the way of life of a people. Their way of operation. Reproducing the king's atmosphere. Reproducing the king's result. Forcing his decrees to work here and now in your life. There are principles. It's a mystery. Jesus was teaching the disciples how to pray. And he said something. Verse 6. Or let's start from verse, um, chapter 6 verse 9. After this manner therefore pray ye. Our father who art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Verse 10 says what? Okay, it says, Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Three powerful words that sum up the desires of God 
for men in this system your kingdom replace that word kingdom with three words please you may not if you can do it wonderful number one your culture number two your principles number three your influence culture principle influence please all of us listen these teachings will make us kingdom people this is jesus telling the people that this is the father's desire because he said that i do nothing of my own as i see my father your what's the first word now so let's read it just in your mind just put culture there are you ready one to read your culture lord let your culture that way of life that makes heaven heaven i want it to come that way of life the culture of heaven let it come number two the principles of heaven that means the formula by which heaven runs its activities let it be transported to this realm here and now please follow me number three your influence what is your influence the jurisdiction of your control the jurisdiction of your control let it find expression this is jesus praying this prayer was not just something that they are supposed to be praying and reciting every day our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name this and that and that and that. All those things are just games jesus was saying something very serious the bible says the spirit searches the mind of god and in searching the mind of god he said your culture your principles your influence let it come you see why we sing songs like your kingdom reign are you following me now enforcing the kingdom what does it mean to enforce the kingdom it means to align yourself so that this prayer becomes answered in your life and across your territory enforcing the culture enforcing the kingdom hallelujah now this is very very important let me have somebody one lady benga come one lady can come anybody where are you from sir you are from Kogi State. Stand here. Where are you from? Enugu, thank you. One Yoruba person. Yoruba, oh yeah. One house house person. Real house or not. Katsina and or any of these people. Oh yeah, now. People want to embarrass your people now. Now watch this. You are from where, Oga? Katsina. Real Katsina. You are from Ondo. Kogi State. Watch this these people represent different territories everybody say territory you must understand this i want to be very simple i'm out of time i know you you may not remember what i'm saying but you remember what i'm acting here are you getting my point this lady is from the east accustomed to the life and the culture of the east where the culture came from is not the issue is that is there now is that true are you following what i'm saying now uh -huh. this guy listen is from Kogi state and there is a way there is a culture there is a life is that true this lady is a Yoruba lady are you following me now there is a culture for instance if her mother were to come here you know how she's going to greet her right is that true this gentleman is from the north he and his father can go if assuming he were not a believer for instance he and his father can go to the same mat and pray and that's not disrespect in fact it's a sign of loyalty and commitment whereas in other cultures when men are sitting down women don't even come there are you getting what i'm saying so jesus looks at these people with their different cultures and he says when you pray if you must become true citizens of the kingdom pray that your kingdom overshadow what has been existing
that has tilted the minds of the people to behave in a way that closes the spirit from finding expression. Are you getting the prayer now? And so he said, for that to happen, you must pray that your kingdom. That means when you get born again as an evil lady, you don't come and negotiate with God and say, Lord, remember I'm evil. I gave you my heart as evil. So all through our walk, where Igbo clashes with the kingdom, you will shift for me and let's continue moving. Are you getting my point now? The Katsina person says, look, Lord, the way we do our things, we are very, very diplomatic about it. Don't bring any kingdom thing. Now, what many believers want is that we take a culture, right? Come into the kingdom. When we come into the kingdom, we now begin to enforce our culture. Please, are you understanding what I'm saying? We now begin to enforce our culture. Now, not every aspect of culture is wrong. I hope you know that. But there are dangerous and devilish aspects of culture. And this culture was carved out by Babylon. This mystery that birds and spews iniquity upon the face of the earth. So that when you keep practicing certain things, it permits the gates of hell to perpetually keep working in your life. Are you listening to me now? So, although you are born again, there are still ordinances that are holding you back. And because you are not ready to subscribe, you are a believer, but you are not ready to bend and subscribe to a higher kingdom. Are you getting my point now? But when you come into Christ, you die. And let me tell you the revelation of that death. To die means you cease to honor everything you honored before him. That's the way of the cross. Are you getting my point now? And when you come out from the other end, you are naked. The Holy Ghost is supposed to now begin to introduce you to a new culture. Supervised by the king himself. Not the traditional ruler in your village. That's why he himself is called the king. Many people know the savior, but they have not met the king. And let me tell you, you will never walk as an ambassador in the kingdom until you encounter the king. Because ambassadors are the envoys that represent the ideologies of the king. Please, are you getting what I'm saying? So, I come in with my culture. I even become a pastor with this culture and we carry all kinds of ideologies as we study scripture culture and the principles we have practiced now become the lens from which we judge and interpret scripture are you getting what i'm saying so it corrupts the authenticity of what the spirit is about to do that is the reason why when in Egypt, when they came out of Egypt, that's, I told you, power is not enough to change people. They saw miracles. But the moment the going got tough, they said, remember that calf that Pharaoh used to build now, that helped them during one war? Aaron, come and help us. Let's help ourselves here. This, maybe Moses is dead somewhere. God has killed him. You see that? Because they came out and they still brought Egypt with them. So when the going went tough, what happened? They negotiated with Egypt. It was not an Egyptian that built that calf, brothers and sisters. The same people. God's own Israel. This is how many of us are. We come out of the kingdom, but we have not left these things. This revelation, thy kingdom come, has not found expression in our lives. But when you come into the school of the spirit, the Lord now says, there is neither male nor female. There is neither Jew nor Gentile. What is the revelation of that? He's introducing you to a new kingdom that is not dependent on your gender. A new kingdom that is not dependent on your prior ideology. Swallow your pride. Tonight, come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the mysteries of eternal life it's a little here 
a little dear and soon your day will dawn is changing everything in obedience to Christ when Jesus was walking the Bible talks about a centurion, a captain in the army. He came to Jesus and he said, my son is about to die. And Jesus said, all right, I will come to him. He said, uh-uh, I know I'm a Jew. And I said, I, I mean, a Roman soldier, sorry. And according to the custom of the Romans, when, when, when they call you, you must come physically present. And he said, but I am a man under authority. Jesus had him speaking kingdom language. And Jesus said, I'm interested. Talk, I'm listening. He said, as a result of being under authority, I can tell one, go, without coming physically, and he will go. And tell another, come, and Jesus said, yeah, I have not found this revelation. You, a Roman soldier, who taught you this? He said, then go, if you believe this. Brothers and sisters, your degree of relinquishing the hold of your own principles and adopting that of the kingdom is the degree to which you will conform to the true image of the Christ here and now. That's why all things are not possible for everybody. I told you we are one in Christ. Revelation and alignment has separated us into different cadres. One star different from another in glory. So what is possible for brother A may not be possible for brother B. Same grace, same faith, same Lord, same baptism, different responses to that which the Spirit has given. That's why he gave unto one five talents, he gave unto one two. If he gave five and five, then we will know that it's a system that does not depend on our personal contribution. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many people who teach that we all got the same thing. No, sir. The Bible tells me he gave five. He gave two. Not according to his desire to bless them. According to their stewardship that they have proven in time past. Hallelujah. So, a time comes when Taiwo's tradition and principles limit the Holy Spirit. God takes us so far. And when it's time to climb higher that which she must lay down becomes too much can god use me i'm a lady all i want to do is just marry that revelation is limiting god like the chains held the hands of samson those two hands represented the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic they were bound and so nothing could happen because the foundation of the kingdom is built upon the apostles and the prophets. Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. But the Bible says when the spirit of God came, the first thing that happened was the chains melted. They became like flax so that it could now release the apostolic and the prophetic. And he said, give me the jawbone of an ass. That's all I need. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made them yours. The highest praise to the King. He has taken all the glory. He has taken all the praise. He has taken all dominion. He has taken all the praise. You have made them yours. Highest praise to the King. For a very long time, when he called this patriarch called Abraham, he said, Abraham, come out of your father's house. There is something in your father's house that has the capacity to limit your prophetic destiny. I know it's your father's house, but come out of it. He said, out of all your kindred and go to a land, a, a city, a mountain, a place that I will show you. And if you obey me, I will make you blessed. In Genesis 12, it was not yet at work in his life. It was the prophecy of what would happen if he obeys. And the Bible says he left. And Lot, you see that? He was told to go alone. When he looked at Lot, he said, Lot, I've been with you or you come. 
amazing how we carry many things in the name of pity and they are the things that open the door for darkness at the apex of our breakthrough hallelujah and lot went with him a time came god said told abraham look let lot go what are you willing to let go for the excellency of this new culture listen the bible says, ask for the ancient part in the kingdom there is no invention your creativity is useless in the kingdom you are not left to create anything at all are you getting what i'm saying as far as working with god is concerned your expertise and your creativity is taking advantage of his spirit to enforce the kingdom here but as far as your work with god is concerned your personal initiative is not necessary the bible says, ask for the ancient part it didn't say create a road and tie it ask for it there's already a road ask for it and walk and you will find rest for your soul in other words, refuse to ask for it and keep struggling. Following roads and come and find yourself in the same spot again. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? So God desires that regardless, see, this sister can never relate with Benga truly and sincerely if both of them do not adopt a higher kingdom. That is greater than the, are you getting my point a time will come when their personal ideologies will clash why am i entering next week already i don't want to steal into the mystery of marriage and you will know why without the adoption of the culture of the kingdom there's no such thing as family peace union between man and a woman i love you i love you junk if you do not adopt this kingdom you will some people's head clash every day because their cultures are east and west what they say don't do in this culture is exactly what you need to do to be a good citizen when i talk of culture i don't just mean tradition i mean your way of life hallelujah are you getting my point now mm. when i submit to the culture of the kingdom if this is my wife and i want to stand here and she wants to stand here we both of us look and say look we are fighting here where does the king want and the king said two of you go back we submit our personal wills to adopt that of the kingdom this is the only basis where brothers can dwell together in unity are you getting my point now many of us are holding strong to devilish ideologies let me give you one for instance secular music and godly music I'm hitting somebody now. Yes, I will say it again. Delete that junk from your phone. Don't let anybody let you know that Christians are... You know, we have these ugly mindsets about Christians that they are old school. They are the ones left behind. Just allow your foolishness to keep deceiving you. In the future, you will see how far we have gone. Hallelujah. A lot of people listen to all kinds of things. And we laugh and we are happy. Not knowing that music carries a spirit. Every song carries a spirit that writes upon your heart. Huh? When it writes upon your heart, it's like a spiritual slate. You begin to feed off that writing. That was the revelation that the devil was bringing to Jesus. Turn this stone into bread. There was something that was written on stone when Moses was on the mountain. He said, turn it to become bread. In other words, let that be your basis of living. And he said, no, man shall not live by this. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many things that are militating us. So when we talk about this transformation, this transformation, you must align yourself. Ah, I refuse to talk about marriage this night. Please, I want peace. Is, is till next week. Come next week prepared. Somebody can be married for 50 years and be married wrongly, working with an ideology. He can write a wrong book. And I was, I was sharing with Pastor Alpha and his wife this afternoon. We we're just having some time together. Someone can be married for 50, 60 years. That's why when you see an elder who loves God and fears God and has a great home, listen to him. Because he has two advantages, experience and the spirit of God.
There are many people writing all kinds of books about marriage. Their personal experience has become the template for them to initiate other people. So they say certain things are not possible based on the limitations they faced. Not knowing that if they only aligned some more to the kingdom, some things would have become possible. Hallelujah. Say, I submit to the government of heaven. So, Ibo, how far are you willing to go with God? As far as submitting yourself to pick up the ideologies of the king is concerned. I don't just mean your culture in terms of village, the way you are behaving. It's generally believed that Igbo people like money and they can do everything for it. Don't laugh. That's a culture. When you come to the kingdom, what says the spirit to the church? What is the new ideology? Are you going to join that band of fruitless hustlers? I must make it. My share of the national cake. Although you are a Christian, you are born again, but it's limiting you. So you cannot honor the law of process. You cannot walk with the spirit accordingly. Hallelujah. Kogi people. Middle belters, all right, or northerners. There are strong ideologies that we have held as a territory. Are we willing to let some of these things go? When you are angry and you tell somebody, you will see. You now run and there's somebody stationed to deal with you and bring everything to justice. But the Bible says vengeance is mine. So you now have two kingdoms. Choose ye this day. I set before you. Hallelujah. It's believed that Yoruba people love education so much. And they can press for it. You need to have a degree, do this, go abroad, come back, do this and that. But to what degree are you willing to yield to the spirit so that you become a true spiritual man, not limited by intellect alone? Knowing that the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong. It is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but the Lord that showeth mercy. Said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow, but he gives unto his beloved sleep. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who is this one? Um, the northern and Hausa man. What are you willing to lay down? It's generally believed that northerners are, are not serious with their wives. They are less fair and careless. The man's job is just to give birth. And then allow the woman go to farm and suffer and do that. Don't, just forget. We're going to talk about that next week. Praise God. See. You see, the thing about marriage is that marriage is the greatest example between our relationship and Christ and this enforcing the kingdom. That's why I keep jumping there. If Benga, ah, uh -uh, come, my brother. If this guy is going to marry um, Taiwo, brothers and sisters, except another kingdom superimposes them, there is war. Everybody shout war. War, war that will not end. You know that Anglican statement, war without end. Because there will be clash of values. Many of us go to God in prayer. And we approach God with certain mindsets. That are limiting God. And the Bible says they limited him in the wilderness by saying can God. When you hear a word like in the name of Jesus. The hand of God will come upon your exams. Your mindset suddenly says forget. If you read, you read. If you don't read, you will fail. Your mindset has become a limiting factor. You had the testimony of the, of the person who just checked the jam. I know many of you think it's a lie. If you are giving your way now, you say, let's verify this thing. Even that genotype thing, I'm not very sure. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Praise the Lord. That's what you are saying. Say, forget Jare. Which doctor? Let's check. Let's go back. I must be there. Thomas was there. And he did the same thing. 
Are you getting what I'm saying? You see that all the disciples that Jesus walked with represented different ideologies. Peter was so impulsive. He was an extrovert. One moment, don't wash my feet. The other moment, bath me. Thomas, you know, all kinds of people. But all of them came into an alignment. Are you getting my point? Such that it didn't matter who entered any city. The Holy Ghost was comfortable to do the same thing. This is kingdom. Thy kingdom come. Say it upon your life. The kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. When the kingdom comes upon your finances, you stop running finances like hit and run. This nonsense people do around. You go to Abuja and see people running. Everybody is running. I, I was watching, I think it was NTA this afternoon, and they were showing a good luck Jonathan. I think they went for something campaign in Equity State. Or this, and I saw all the people dancing on the road. I said, but do these people really love this country? Or is it that the hunger is too much? They are muzzling the last ounce of energy to just dance it so that when the money comes, they can negotiate after the, the, the conference. Has the kingdom come over your finances or you are still running it the way you know? Go to school, get a job, hope to get a very great job. Wonderful. But have you, have you had the opinion of the king? Do you know there is an economic system in this kingdom that was there before you were born? Have you been interested in subscribing to it? The Bible said, taste and see that the Lord, it didn't say wish and complain. Be serious. How do you taste food? You go and sit down in the restaurant. You sit down for as long as the food is being prepared. While he's preparing the table before you in the presence of your enemies, you must sit down. And then you will taste and testify. And say, that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have handled, even that of the word of life, that's what we preach. Has the kingdom come upon your soul to change your character? Brothers and sisters, this is very important. There are many Christians without character. You can walk out immediately after the grace and give one sister a dirty slap because you are entering bus. You see, forget the fact that I sat down in front. Oh, you try me, I wound you. I'm not one of these guys that like looking for women. Don't think I like you. Look at you. this. This guy just spent three hours rolling on the floor and worshiping now he wants to give a lady a slap the next time somebody does like that tell him thy kingdom <laughs> hallelujah when somebody carries his mouth and you are lambasting somebody a brother just comes and says i like your shoe no 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 no. i'm not this kind of big boy. let me tell you something i'm not this kind of boy just say brother just say thy kingdom you need the influence of the kingdom. Have you allowed the kingdom to come upon your academics? Do you not know that the spirit of God came upon a man called Daniel? And changed him, literally. He learned the art and the language of the Babylonians. And the Bible says he was distinguished. But every time they are talking, say me, I had one P, four C, I added Neko. It even allowed me and gave me two years to make it up. And you take that mindset. Have you allowed the kingdom to come? Please, is my message making sense tonight? In your body, you will keep dying of terminal disease until you allow the kingdom to come. So you are healed one moment from miracle service, but you now go back and this happens again. No, come, no, oh, come, me, man, well, and ransom captive is right. Oh, come, no, oh, come, me, man, well. And ransom captive Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. 
God is coming to you tonight and saying, how long are you willing to keep remaining at this level? You have a ministry. God wants to take you to a high level, but your limitation. There is a message you had that has refused to allow the kingdom come. And you keep wondering, why is this thing not working? And then out of frustration, you just say, anybody that is doing it is fake. Forget it. All these people. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. When it comes to you, he walks upon your mind. When it comes to you, he changes your ideology. Don't tell me I'm from Edo State. Don't tell me I'm from Plateau State. Don't tell me I'm from Lagos. Are you willing to subscribe to the governing influence of the king? Three ways you enforce the kingdom. Very quickly, please sit down. Number one. Look at me. 2 to enforce the kingdom, you must understand the mysteries of the kingdom. The principles that govern the operation of God's system. But it so happens that these mysteries are so many. Our lifetime will not be able to... Follow me, please. I'm trying to construct the first, um, the first way of enforcing the kingdom. The mysteries that govern the operation of the kingdom. Remember I showed you the creation before Genesis 1. Remember when we're talking about what? Laws of dominion or something. I told you there was a creation before Genesis 1. Is that true? And I showed you, isn't it? How that the foundations of the earth was created. That creation story was even more comprehensive than Genesis 1. That was when the foundations of the earth was laid upon pillars. Right? And I told you the sons of God is not a New Testament concept. It has been there. When the sons of God sang for joy. Are you getting my point now? So there are mysteries. The earth is not round. It's not suspended in the space. That's what science told us. But the Bible says it has pillars. The pillars extend to the sea. The Bible says God put doors at the borders of every river. That means every time we see flooding, a spirit manipulated a spiritual law because there are doors. Emmanuel. See, this is what you know that you won't be deceived. When people just say, water just came and washed the house, you say, uh-uh, come on now. I read in my Bible, there are doors. He put boundaries. But by the manipulation of spiritual laws, you can extend their boundaries. I told you, a man can be accurate but not be of God. Spiritual laws are not necessarily heavenly laws. In the kingdom, laws can be initiated by any spirit, any demon spirit, human spirit that's why a herbalist can concoct something for you and it will work because he's manipulating the laws of the spirit but for kingdom citizens that law must be initiated sustained by the spirit of the christ that's what makes it of god are you getting what i'm saying you can go to somebody by the riverside right now the person will buff out all your problems and truly you'll find out that your problems left because he manipulated a law but it so happens that if the spirit of god is not the one who initiated the process there will still be a window left only the spirit of god knows the mystery to the final door of evil every other person will leave a signature that shows so you can look at somebody's visitation of a man of god or of somebody and know that it's not god this person met there was still a window are you are you getting what i'm saying tonight Oh, I wish I had time. This gives you spiritual intelligence. I remember um, where I did my secondary school, they, had, they, they understood the art and science of holy rain. It would never rain on their market day. That was the source of their livelihood. They had enchanters who could look and know which law can keep the cloud suspended 
and then in the night around two no wind no nothing a heavy rain will now come what's the compensation there is something of course remember the law of exchange there is always a compensation don't let anybody fool you you don't get nothing for nothing in the kingdom that thing is not true if you got it free somebody paid for it there is always an exchange always so the next time you hear that there is flooding around don't join ignorant people to just say wow the climate is changing no no these spirits are invoking a spiritual formula that extends the borders of the rivers but when the kingdom citizens show up like joshua we have mastered the mysteries of the kingdom and we can look at the rod of pharaoh and drop the rod of god and it will swallow it right in their presence and not increase weight and we tell the sorcerers explain the mystery of swallowing two snakes and not increasing in size where did they go to you answer mysteries with mystery see let me tell you in the days that will come it will be a clash of mantles men will talk very little something else will be speaking that which god trained them with is what they will use hmm. that's what can make people hire you and keep you in a walk they just say you are you are part of the board of advisors. You are not doing anything. Your presence is forcing mysteries to work in the favor of that company. And they say, oh God, you are part of the board of directors. For what? Oh, they will need us. Goodness, we are a city set on a hill. Trust me. Trust me. Bishop used to work with a man. I won't mention his name because people are listening. Bishop Stan used to work with a man. As graduates, he paid them 50000 but he paid the men of God that came to work with him 1.2. You know why? Because they have mastered the art and science of manipulating spiritual laws. Sorcerers and diviners in Bible days were not elected. They were the closest people to the king because if they leave him, he would die. They leave all the farmers and intelligent people to be killing themselves outside. And those who understand the art and science of controlling this realm. Hmm. And Job said, has thou commanded thy mourning? How do you command your mourning? Brothers and sisters, when you know what you can know, it will... Ay. Grant us grace. This is what the patriarchs knew that made them sons of God. Twelve men in the Old Testament. It has always been twelve. It's the system of God's government. Twelve men who manifested bodily the summation of mysteries that made them afraid. And Elijah the Tishbite showed up from wherever nobody knows. And how he got to the mountain, the Bible doesn't tell us. You think that man will just keep climbing the mountain like that? We just know he sat down at the top of the mountain. And the armies came with their spears. He said, really? They've trained you in the art of war. Those guys were so excellent. They could, they could, diverge, they could diverge arrows with slings. They were so accurate. But Elijah said, I don't have time for this business. Let fire come from heaven the disciples saw jesus do a lot of mystery that's why one day they said jesus let's come out fire jesus didn't say you cannot do it he said do you not know what spirit you are of in other words i'm showing you other mysteries you see what jesus kept teaching them he didn't finish the lecture that's why after resurrection he kept them for 50 days 40 days and he was teaching them the matters of the kingdom after that he said goodbye i can leave you now goodness and we, one man called Bad Jesus meandered. Have you heard the story? Bad what? Bad Jesus. Paul said, ah! In Acts chapter 16, I think it was 16 or 19, when they saw a lady with the spirit of divination bringing a lot of money to all their people by giving people word of knowledge. So you see that it worked, right? For whatever reason, a spirit entered that lady and trained her in the art of interpreting spiritual things. When Paul looked, Paul could not see, but he used another mystery that opened his eyes. And he said, uh-uh, this is not of God. 
May God make strong men out of us. Not just by impartation, but by knowledge. You will walk everywhere and read the handwritings on the wall. That what men are not seeing, you will see. You will enter your house and somebody will say, I have stomach ache. And you say, no, I need to fast. This is not about stomach ache. I have connected the dots. This is the dart of evil. And you come out after 24 hours and say, it's well. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Somebody just says, I have another stomach ache. You say, it's well. I know what I saw. Three days later, the family opens up to unspeakable breakthrough. You think they want you to come back home? There are some of you, they don't want you to come back home because you are, you are adding to the, the mysteries. You are not solving it. Why is it that when you come back home, things finish unusually? Whereas the prophet showed up and said, surely the, the oil will not finish. This and that will not finish. We're going to pray shortly. Dominion is not an impartation. Dominion is on the strength of the mysteries of the kingdom that you understand. He said it has been given unto you to know. See, when Adam was created, some things were told Adam that Eve did not know. That's why God held Adam responsible. Before Eve showed up, some informations were given Adam. For instance, part of the things that were taught, I believe with all my heart, was God gave him a story of the creation. God told him a lot of things. He knew that water was responsible for abundance. I hope you know. We've shared it here, right? That the things that came out, they came out from the water. The Bible tells us the birds of the air, the fish, they all came out from the water. This is another mystery. That's why the Bible says there are three that bear witness in heaven. The spirit, the word, and what? No, it can't be water. In heaven... But he said in the earth realm, there are three that bear witness. So the spirit bears witness both in heaven and in the earth. The common factor, both in heaven and in the earth. The spirit, the water, and the blood. And I told you this represents three dispensations of the manifestation of the church, right? The, the dispensation of the spirit was the charismatic age from their Susa street and all of that. So people laid emphasis on the manifestation and the workings of the spirit. And then the word of faith started coming. That's the dimension of the water. They started teaching people accurately the things of the word. And before Christ comes the manifestation of the blood. Not as a teaching, as a lifestyle. Because the blood represents the very life of God. That's what will open the gates. Hmm. So gates that were shut will be opened. Because of certain mysteries. Brothers and sisters. The kingdom of God. Seeks to find expression in your life. But because there are so many mysteries for us to learn. We can only touch so much. Listen to me. There are so many. It will take us a lifetime. So the Holy Spirit identified it as a predicament in us. And he said. There is another mystery. That will help you connect to principles that you do not know. But they will work for you. And then the Bible starts saying, for we know not how to pray. He said, this is the limitation. Are you hearing me now? Follow me, please. He said, no man knows the heart of a man save the spirit of that man. So no man knows the heart of God save the spirit of God. And then he begins to communicate a limitation that every believer, no matter how strong, we have that limitation. What's the limitation? We know not what to pray for as we ought to. That means we don't know how to use the correct spiritual laws to the accuracy that will give us all the results that we need. But there was a technology that was kept to help our inadequacy. He said, but the spirit itself make it what? This is a mystery. Make it intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Aha. So when you begin to pray, this mystery was not taught Satan. This is what confuses demons. I hope you know Satan, Lucifer, I told us already, Lucifer was what? Like Biera. He was the custodian of the revelations. He thought he saw everything about God. He did not know that there were other mysteries that were hidden. So he deceived the one third of the angels. He said, guys, just follow me. I can tell you, I have every knowledge of God in my hands. I can even be God right now and it will not change the system of heaven. 
And God said, really? There was war in heaven. God didn't even stand up from his throne. It was Michael. Michael fought him. So when he came down, he came down, he became lower than the cherubs and all of that. Then, that's why he looked for Adam. I told you the first person who was in the Garden of Eden was who? Lucifer, not Adam. Lucifer was the first person in the Garden of Eden. He was driven out. That's why when Adam came, it got him angry. You see what Satan has with men. So when he collected the Adamic authority, at that point, he became greater than all the angels, second to only the Trinity. That was why when Archangel Michael came and they were fighting over the body of Moses, are you, are you seeing it now? Because at that point, he was higher than him. He could not use that strength again. So he invoked a higher power. The Lord rebuke you. Hold on. Are you, are you getting my point now? Mm. When Jesus was born, because Satan was working with Adamic authority, even Jesus ran away for his life. Otherwise, Satan would have killed him. When Satan took Jesus to the mountain, Jesus did not say, Satan, go away. No, he followed him. And Satan said, all these glories. What mountain did they climb that they saw the glories of the world all at once? Is that not a mystery? Where do you stand in the earth that you see all the glories? But he showed him at once. He said, it has been given to me. Ah, yeah. And so he said, let me give you the shortcut. Why go and die and do all of this nonsense? Because he knew that there is coming another law. He had seen water. It was the water that parted the Red Sea and brought separation between Egypt and Israel. It was the adumbration of baptism. But he saw an adumbration of the blood of the lamb in Egypt. And because he knows that prophetic things must have a physical explanation, he started following anything that looks like blood. So he said, Jesus, this one that you have come now, why just bow down to me and collect this thing? Jesus said, no problem. I will collect it anyway. So when he met with it in hell, he said, I've come to collect it now. See, see, Jesus defeated Satan without the help of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit had left him. He was in hell. Are you getting me? That was why after the third day, the same spirit that raised him back. That means he came back on the third day, raised by the spirit of God. And when Satan, Jesus collected the keys, stripped Satan of it. That's why in Revelation he said, I am he that was dead, but now I am alive and I hold the keys. He's got it back. That's what he gave us in redemption. Seven blessings. Worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive. He has received unto us blessings, riches, those seven things. He gave it to us. He said, as my father has sent me, I send you with it. But he said, hold on. Don't just run foolishly. The Holy Ghost. There are many things I want to tell you, but you cannot bear them now. They will be needed for you to be effective. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you. He will teach you the other part of the lessons. Thy kingdom come. So when you begin to pray, that's the first way of enforcing the kingdom. As I begin to pray in the spirit, there are all kinds of codes and mysteries being manipulated in the spirit for my favor. So you can pray. Listen, I shared a revelation with Pastor Alpha and his wife this afternoon. When you pray, I hope you know you are sowing seeds. Is that true? And the Bible says, to every seed, God can change the body and give it another body. So I can be praying and all of a sudden it will manifest in my finances. God has given it another body. I can pray in tongues and it will manifest in my health. Are you getting me? God can give seeds another body. Are you seeing why it's important to pray in the spirit? For we have a limitation. We know not what we should pray for. Brothers and sisters, hear me here. If you are not baptized with the Holy Ghost, with evidence of praying in fluent tongues, fluent tongues, you need to have a meeting with the prayer band people. Hallelujah. Fluent tongues. It's your lifeline out of this nonsense. This assault of the devil. They will manipulate your life with spiritual principles. 
I know a lot of people have thought that everything is okay once you are born again. Wait on. See, the laws of the spirit are not the laws of the Old Testament. They predate creation. Hallelujah. It was that same law that brought water for Hagar in the desert. She looked around and there was no water. And when the angel appeared, he opened her eyes. And there was water flowing. That means what you do not see does not mean it's not there. Something can happen in the spirit and make it manifest. There was water. She could not drink because she could not see it. What did the angel do to her eyes? The same thing Elisha did to his servant. Hallelujah. Prayer. Number two. You enforce the kingdom. You enforce the kingdom in the place of deep worship. Very few people understand worship. Please, if you are here and you've not cultivated the life of worship, you can meet the worship team members after the service and say, how do I cultivate a life of worship? Not an event of cult of worship that you hold mic a life of worship just like we did that's why when we came the holy ghost allowed us to bask in that presence when that thing happens the presence of god can enforce the reality of the kingdom hallelujah one more you enforce the kingdom by the ministry of the word both studying it and speaking it not just blind religious speaking and blessed and blessed and blessed and blessed that kind of speaking that doesn't carry any weight but that you say i am blessed out of a depth of conviction you enforce the kingdom son of man what seest thou ezekiel 37 or oh, ezekiel 37 son of man can these bones live again he said only thou knowest he said enforce it i prophesied as i was commanded and the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Wish so. That means let the healed of the Lord say what? Let the prosperous of the Lord do what? So you say so. Comes from the word homologio. Repeat after the person you just had. And so you speak. My life is blessed. I'm a man of character. I'm a woman of character. You are enforcing the kingdom. I have no business with sickness. Hallelujah. My path is as a shining light. Even when you see things that contradict your faith, you know that there is a reality higher than what you have seen. And you enforce it with your words. We are going to pray. I have to stop here. Were you blessed tonight? Did you get something? We are going to pray. In a few minutes, we are going to pray. We'll just take two or three minutes and pray very generously in tongues. Hallelujah. After that, we'll make decrees. And then we'll round up the service. Please rise up on your feet, everyone. Please hold hands together, everyone, if you can. And begin to pray in tongues. Activate the operation of mysteries. Pray, brothers and sisters. Now you understand that praying in tongues helps you to enforce the kingdom, the culture, the influence. Change your life into the garden of Eden. Change your wilderness into the garden of Eden. It is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom.
Change your destiny. Change your life. Give the Holy Ghost an opportunity to move your life forward. Hallelujah. Whenever you feel confused in your life, pray in tongues. Your situation is at the mercy of mysteries being activated. There is what can be activated that suddenly makes everything possible. Gravity works. But there is another law called the law of aerodynamics. There is a principle that can compel gravity to give way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please leave yourselves. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. In the next two minutes, I want you to open your mouth. Prophesy over your life and your destiny. Come on now, speak the word of God. I'm the blessed of the Lord. My body aligns to spiritual things. My mind aligns to spiritual things. In the name of the Lord Jesus, my eyes are open to see and understand the mysteries of the Spirit. Grace and peace is multiplied unto me. By knowledge, grace and peace, prophesy koinonia, grace and peace, grace and peace is multiplied. Don't keep quiet, don't keep quiet. When you keep quiet, you stop the kingdom from being enforced in your life. I am blessed, I'm fruitful all the way in the name of the Lord Jesus. The lines are falling for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. The favor of the Lord compasses me as with a shield. The earth yields its increase for me. I'm blessed with the oil of gladness above my fellow. My eyes are open. Open your mouth and pray. If your neighbor is not praying, tell the person, speak. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. I'm rising higher and higher by the power of the Holy Ghost. Higher and higher. I break limits. I'm prosperous. I'm anointed in ever increasing dimensions. The hand of God is upon me. The favor of God is upon me. I belong to a kingdom of power. My words carry power. I am a blessing everywhere I go. The hand of God is upon me. The favor of God is upon my life. I'm strengthening my inner man. I'm a man of power. I'm a man of wisdom. The wisdom of the Spirit is at work in me. I hear the voice of the Spirit telling me this is the way. Walk ye in it. And I find rest for my soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, every mountain becomes a plain ground before me. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord makes a way for me where there seems to be no way where men say there is a casting down my testimony is that there is a lifting up there's no sickness in my body because I dwell in Zion and no inhabitant of Zion shall say I am sick the spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in my mortal body and it quickens my mortal body my mind is renewed my body is mortified. Never an instrument of unrighteousness. 
it has been given unto me to know the mysteries of the kingdom i understand the mysteries of dominion i have ears that hear i have eyes that see hallelujah hallelujah two prayer points and we'll round up hallelujah number one you're going to say lord everything in my life that contends with the culture of the kingdom tonight let your kingdom come let your kingdom come every mindset keeping me in poverty every mindset making me a failure every mindset destroying the anointing in my life tonight thy kingdom come pray your kingdom come upon my mind your kingdom come upon my finances your kingdom come upon my ideologies i lay down mindsets african mindsets cultural mindsets diabolic mindsets anti-craft anti-christ mindsets mindsets that fight the workings of the spirit mindsets that fight new levels of the anointing lay it down tonight and pray there is a higher realm in the spirit there is a level of excellence there is a level of quintessence there is a level of perfection mindsets we got from churches and denominations mindsets we got from our upbringing mindsets we got from our territories and traditions lord every mindset that is a stronghold limiting the operation of the spirit in my life tonight i cast down imaginations and every yatar every imagination and high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray against the spirit of death upon this man. Because I'm seeing the spirit of death. I'm seeing the spirit of death. We challenge this spirit, O oh God. We challenge this spirit, O oh God. Go! You will not die. I cause the spirit of death. I cause the spirit of death. I minister life to you. Life. 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 for you I command breakthrough into your life madam in the name of Jesus Christ everything that has died in your life I command you to come alive right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is showing me another woman I'm seeing you are from Benway State Benway State I'm seeing a woman from Benway 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 Please, if there's someone like that, let's just. Hallelujah. Benway State. There's someone here. You came to stand for someone with breast cancer. Cancer is cancer of the breast. Who is that? You came to stand in for someone. You're the one? You're the one? Yes, sir. My cousin. Your cousin. Yes. breast cancer yes sir because this thing has gone serious yes sir. and it's only the power of god yes otherwise sir. they are going to cut off the breast yes, sir. that's what the doctors have said yes, but sir. tonight there is a name that is above every other name yes, there is a name there is a name there is a name hold my hands father in the mighty name of jesus christ we curse that spirit right now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing you wearing an atlas shoes
God is bringing advancement and speed into your life. I'm seeing you wearing the shoes of an athlete because you are going to run. God is going to visit you in a very mighty way. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Breast cancer. Father, let there be perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Let her come. Let her come. It's not even I want to talk about it. your mother. Where is your mother? My mother. She's at home. She's at home. God is going to visit your mother in a very mighty way. Amen. God is, I'm seeing increase coming. It looks like a promotion or something is coming for your mom. And I'm seeing God visiting your family's finance in a very mighty way. Amen. I'm seeing a ring in your hand. Are you married? You are married. Yes. Where's your husband? He's, he's seated there please come husband I, I'm not sure I know you come because God wants to speak a word to the family sir the Lord God of Israel amen. is going to visit your family in the next three months amen you will see dramatic things amen there are things that I may not say in, in the open now but I see a miracle coming I see a miracle coming. Um, how long have you been married, sir? I'm hearing a cry of a baby. And it's a baby girl. It's a baby girl. It's a baby girl. This will happen by the Spirit of God. This will happen by the grace of God. Please lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I curse everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing you buying a new car. I'm seeing you buying a new car. God is showing me. You are buying a new car. It's a Toyota car. It's a Toyota car. You will see God do it by the hand of God. And God is also bringing you. Um, I'm seeing God bringing men to help you, even financially. Because this is one of the things that you really desire. Amen. God is bringing men to help you financially. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, let Amen. this be so. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, before I pray for the sick, did I pray for her? From Benway State. Mama, come. Do you have a daughter, ma? Yes. This is the daughter. I need to pray for you. Just leave your mother and hold my hands. We need to pray for you. So that you will not have a child before marriage. Huh? We need to pray for you. There is a spirit in the family. And we have to pray. Because even you as you are like this. It's not like you don't love God. But you need to settle down. Otherwise men, men cause a lot of problems. And it's not like you are a bad girl. It's a spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set her free from every yoke of darkness. Let her go now. Go! Mama, may God bless you. I open a new chapter for your life. And I declare in the name of Jesus that everything that has caused you pain, my God is visiting you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. As we sing that song, there's power in the name of Jesus. All the people that came here for healing, please just come and arrange yourself. Everybody keep praying in tongues and say, Father, visit me. God is visiting people inside and outside. Please be orderly. Let's do it very fast. There's power in the name of Jesus. There is power. If you came with anybody's picture, you can also hold it. There is power. It's called a miracle service. It's not just a name, it's an experience to break every chain of darkness. No matter if there's no space, just now, as we pray for others, then they will give way. 
one more time. There is power. has been hallelujah i'm going to lay my hands upon you and pray listen some of you are coming in for sickness but what is the, the root cause of all of this is is that is the same root cause that is affecting finance affecting marriage god is not just going to heal you hallelujah god is going to address the root cause hallelujah so as i pray for you i want you to march down to your seat whatever you could not do make sure you begin to do it hallelujah i already sense the fire of the holy ghost upon my hands very strong and all of us who are standing god is touching people inside and outside be focused don't be distracted by the way if you have not written your prayer request now is the opportunity to take advantage of it hallelujah father we thank you let there be such a move of the healing power of jesus that as these hands are laid stretch forth your right hand oh god and let your people be healed in the name of jesus this woman I brought myself Jesus brought me here <laughs> but the evil spirit has been attacking me something has been moving over my body it's okay please don't cry uh, uh, about 30 years now tonight is your night of liberty I hear the chains falling Cause this spirit out, out. I command that devil of death leave this body now by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Oh, 
pain in your there was pain in your leg, but now is there pain? It has do check yourself. It has and it's like your stomach used to feel strong. And, and then you feel something moving like a snake. Check it now. Check it now. Squeeze yourself. Jesus, Father, thank you. There's nothing. I'm not feeling anything. Everything has gone. This was a spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are here. Come on, celebrate Jesus, people. Falling down. Go, go. I'm not. 
forward some of you if, if we keep asking one by one it doesn't matter what it is hallelujah go ahead watch it i believe i believe lord i believe lord Five years of ulcer, you'll be healed, right? And, and discharging. Hey, don't worry. God will set you free. That devil is a liar in the name of Jesus.
hands now. Now, the power of God is coming upon you. You are free in the name of Jesus.
miracles everywhere miracles everywhere and miracles everywhere and right now right now miracles everywhere and miracles everywhere miracles everywhere just touching the people here there is something the atmosphere is doing let's just finish the prayer for this Your word. 
lion in the spirit this guy has a wild spirit when he's angry he can kill and it's not his fault this is this is an ancestral thing see how many people trying to hold one person this is how it will tie his destiny this is how he will get married to a very innocent lady and be manifesting things that he doesn't know i set you free right now this is a place of liberty leave him leave him he's free
Hallelujah. Lift your hands. God is setting families free right now from marital delay. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. All those affected, as you count three, the fire of God will sweep across this place. There are marital destinies that have been tied down. Some of you, you are standing, but you are representing your family. In the name that is above all names. Right now, anyone tied under any manifestation, spirit, husband, spirit, wife, every manifestation of darkness, as you shout the name Jesus right now, I command those doors to be open. One, two, three. Free. I set you free now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Be free. I open up doors of marriages inside and outside. Be free. Be free. Every spell, every curse stopping your marital destiny. Hallelujah. Mommy, please can I talk to you? Your time of visitation has come because the Lord is saying he's going to wipe your tears and he's going to do this speedily it's by the hand of the Lord it's where is your husband man? do you know why I'm asking you this because your situation is like in a similitude of that of Sarah but God is going to wipe your tears please believe me when I pray for you I'm praying for marital delays and then I'm looking at you and the Lord is saying that this woman does not even have a husband at the point I even say ah what is this is that true and I'm asking myself but I'll pray for you 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 trust God to settle down I'll pray for you yes it will happen it will happen anyone here due for marriage listen anyone here be it yourself or any member of your family that is long overdue for marriage right now i prophesy in the name that is above all names let those doors be open now may those doors be open now something is happening in this place may those doors be open now may those doors be open now madam you will stand before the people of God when your wedding card is out if there is a God in heaven I break that curse right now now and I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah Is the Lord God Almighty? Is the Lord God Almighty? The earth is full of His glory. My life is full of Your glory. And the people say, Holy. Oh, oh, oh. And the people say, oh, oh, Hallelujah. All of you lift your hands. God is going to do something amazing here right now. Listen. Everyone is standing for himself now, not for family. Please lift your hands. Listen. I'm seeing powers that have tied down the advancement of people. Listen to me. Because the Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing someone standing with a sword. And this is a sword of judgment. This one is not for families again. 
there are many of us you are walking but you are standing because nothing is moving right now in the name of jesus many of you will literally feel the fire of god come upon you like a baptism is burning chaffs burning chains some of you your academics are the way they are right now because of powers Neke paratika. Come on. Now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Right now. Chains. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Chains. Be broken. Baptisms are happening. Baptisms of fire. Personal deliverances of fire. 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 The fire of the Holy Ghost is time for you to move forward. Fresh fire to move forward. Fresh fire. No stagnation. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We are still going to do this again. Listen, I'm telling you, this is the root problem of many of the our predicaments. There are there are forces. Please follow me. This is the part you get to participate. Lift your hands again. Lord, what is it that has tied your people down? They have prayed for others, they have ministered to others. But right now, like a volcano, let the fire of God sweep across this place. Right now, let it burn the roots. Let it burn the roots. Set the roots on fire. Set the roots on fire. Let your people make progress. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let's enter the realm of your academics now. There are horns. Tied people's CGPA. Tied people's minds. But he said, I have sent carpenters. Lift your hands. It's not everyone that is dull. There are people who are studying. You are doing your best. Right now, all of those ones, your hands fire is coming on your hands just your hands there will be a mighty deliverance right now one two three fire on your hands on your hands fire academic liberty fire on your hands we break those chains we break those chains we break those chains Come on, join me as you pray. Join me as you pray. Academic change be broken. Hallelujah. There are some of us, listen, God is setting people free tonight. One circle of tragedy, as soon as he's finishing, another one is starting. It it never comes to a point where your family can experience peace the bible says and he dug a well and they came and closed it he dug another one and they closed it and he dug the third one and they left it and i said reho both the lord has given me room i'm praying right now please pay attention to what i'm doing this is the root cause believe me you will be wasting your time for nothing if you don't confront these powers you can receive temporary breakthrough but you will get back into the same situation
Hallelujah. In fact, we are going to pray just for one minute. Hallelujah. You are going to pray. I like you to pray like a priest. In the next one to two minutes, listen. I like you to tell the Lord that whatever is the root cause, you are not concerned about the fruits and the leaves. It may be headache, leave that one. Lord, what is the root cause of my stagnation? What is the root cause of my family's problem? In the name of Jesus, let it be confronted tonight. Lift your voice and pray. We attack the root causes of sicknesses, the root causes. Pray, pray for your business, pray for your ministry, pray for your academics. Visit me tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. But there are many of us here. The troubles in our lives are as a result of the mistakes and the wickedness for some of us of our parents and loved ones. He said, who's seen that this man is in this situation? Is it him or his father? Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Please lift your hands. God is setting men free tonight. Anyone here going through circles of tragedy as a result of covenant and parental influence, as you shout the name Jesus after the count of three, may the fire of God separate you from the mistakes of your lineage. In the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Be separated, be separated, be separated now, be separated. I break limitations. Ancestral spirits, tribal spirits, territorial spirits. Right now, be free. Every name that is in any demonic cover. We set it on fire now. We set it on fire now. Jesus died to set us free. Jesus truly died to set us free. It wasn't a joke. He said, but we do not see all things under his feet. Lift your hands again. your hands again say after me in the name of Jesus shout it in the name of Jesus I am ready to make progress I'm ready to move forward I'm ready to break barriers and tonight by the blood of Jesus I confront and challenge the root causes of my limitation lift your voice and begin to pray we challenge it we challenge powers that have limited men there must be a release tonight Jacob wrestled with God Pray, pray, pray. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to break limits. Break limits. I 
I tell you, God is there are there are massive, there is an emancipation. Lift your hands again. Say after me in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus speaks for me. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the price for my freedom. Listen, keep the hands lifted. Just keep them lifted. All instruments just stop. Just lift your hands and keep them lifted. There is a reason why I'm saying you should keep them lifted. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is going to walk through the crowd. Listen, just keep them lifted. Something marvelous will happen right now. I'm seeing water that God is pouring on people. Right now, let the power of God move everywhere, inside and outside. This water that I see an angel pouring is a cleansing, is a purging of many people's foundations. Just keep your hands lifted. You may not understand what is going on, but just lift your hands. If you trust that God is in this place, let the angels move right now. Row to row, line to line. Visit men, oh God. Visit men. Visit men. Katelato. Row to row. Water. There are three that bear witness in heaven. The spirit, the water, the blood. I invoke the power of these three spiritual entities right now. The mystery of the spirit, the water, and the blood. I tell you, see, many of you will, will walk into levels of breakthrough that will surprise you. Keep it lifted. Just keep it lifted. Keep it lifted. You don't know what is happening in the spirit. Just keep it lifted. Jesus. Shikaparia. Neketa Mandeporiata. I see covens on fire. I'm telling you, covens of darkness on fire. This is not just your family, this is your life now. You prayed for your family, but you need to move forward, otherwise, men will think you are faking this thing. a chain is falling from someone's head a chain is falling from someone's head a chain is falling from someone's head i see this in the spirit a chain is falling this is mental bondage a chain is falling i'm hearing sounds of chains Hallelujah. 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 Now, before we submit the prayer request, lift your hands. You are going to mention one thing, just one, that you want God to do, that everyone will know that this one, I prayed it here and God did it. Are you getting my point now? I'm just walking based on the instructions of the Spirit. He wants to give you a sign. Of his presence in your life i know you wrote many things brothers and sisters in the next one minute cry out one thing one just one don't be foolish pray pray i'm ministering by the influence of the spirit pray no matter how impossible it is pray So Topa, unto you that answers prayers, will all flesh come. Unto you that answers prayers. Soposa, leke sepanda, rekete kapa, mata leketa, what things soever 
ye desire when ye pray believe that you have received it believe that you have received it there is nothing out for my God pray it hallelujah hallelujah everyone let's pray in tongues for one minute as we collect the prayer request please go ahead God is just leading us to pray and he's doing many things in the background please quickly in one minute let's submit the prayer request pass it to the last person pass it to the last person ushers please cooperate with us and let's hurry up pray pray hallelujah listen listen keep passing the request but listen to me i made a vow to god i just returned from my retreat and one of the vows that i made to god is that i don't care what people would think about me but if I ever have the opportunity to minister to God's people, I'd rather have an ugly message and let people get results. Are you getting what I'm saying? Part of my, my prayer, and I, I took out time to cry. I said, Lord, your people must see your hand. It says, oh Lord, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My heart longs after you to see your power and your glory as i have seen in the sanctuary that means what i have seen in the sanctuary i am also a sanctuary reproduce the result in my life hallelujah so this program is aimed at bringing everyone into a place of personal spiritual success and let me tell you I know that it's not a very nice message I wish that I didn't have to pray to confront spirits and powers that stop people I like to preach a nice message that will just tell you that don't worry if you believe everything is has, has gone it has gone I wish I just wish it were like that but brothers and sisters I can tell you it is not it is not you will believe that lie to your detriment it is not we live in a rude world and there are forces otherwise the anointing of the spirit is useless what then is the purpose of the anointing what then is the efficacy of the blood? Why then does Paul tell us to put on? Hallelujah. I want your life to experience breakthroughs. See, otherwise, we have no right to tell people we are not faking it. Are you getting my point? If there is no breakthrough in your life, then what then is the confidence of the message that people keep saying God is and one I believe that one result can silence a lot of questions I'm not that believer that likes just no there must be an evidence in your life I don't know how many times I saw this when I kept praying the Lord kept talking to me and said the root cause deal with the root cause of people's lives root cause i'm telling you it's not just healing alone that's why you notice i prayed for the sick very quickly hallelujah thank you jesus christ we're well, going to pray one prayer point before we have all the prayer requests here inside and outside make sure you are participating hallelujah i like you to pray and challenge 
every limitation whether mental whether spiritual anything that limits you is not of god lift up your voice and confront it i break limitations if there are no limitations you will make progress if there are no limitations you will make progress please everyone pray take this seriously even if you are walking be praying as you're walking lord i challenge limitations let there be no limits in my life let there be no limits in my life let there be no boundaries as far as your eyes can see as far as your eyes can see ushers please let's hurry up ushers please let's hurry up Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. I'm going to be laying hands on these requests. Hallelujah. Pair yourselves into two. Find a man or a woman of prayer. We are challenging limitations. That word limitation. Media project it. That word limitation. Write it. That's the word we are attacking this night. Ye have tarried in this mountain for too long. He said, turn ye not words. Hallelujah. Hold on before you pray. While I lay my hands here. Hallelujah. Hold the hands of the person you are going to pray. If there is nobody, you can join and make two or three. Say in the name of Jesus. One more time. Say in the name of Jesus. I come as an ambassador of the kingdom. And I challenge every limitation in every area of my life. I command it to bow down. The Bible says, Naaman, hear me, Second Kings 5. Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army. He said he was a mighty man, but tonight we are going to confront the bots in our lives. You are academically excellent, but there are limitations. I don't know if there are limitations in someone's life that you are saying, Lord, in this miracle service, this is it. Hallelujah. While I pray in the next two to three minutes, instrumentalists play, clash the cymbal, and everyone pray. Hold the hands of your neighbor. If he's joking, leave him and hold another person.
open the flood gates of heaven. Gates of heaven, open the open the floor gates of heaven. One more time. Hallelujah. Listen. I believe with all my heart that God is confronting limitations. Many of you don't know what limitations are. You, poverty is a limitation. Are you getting my point? Spiritual bankruptcy is a limitation. A prayerless life is a capital limitation. A wordless life is a limitation when you are supposed to get married and you've not gotten married it's a limitation academic backwardness see there are very few people who are here for for sicknesses and all is is limitation that's the name of what you are going through hallelujah before i prophesy we'll soon have the last session and then we're, we're done we are still going to pray. Don't be tired. I beg you, just follow through with me. If you believe that I hear God and if you believe we are walking by the Spirit, I'd like you to pray. Hallelujah. Limitations. I know a brother. Listen. Listen. I know a brother that for many years, this gentleman was so gifted. But I'm telling you, nothing was working in his life. Please hear me. This is a true story. Very gifted. But things were tied down. Hallelujah. He did everything, did everything that, that he knew to do. But when God made him know that these things are limitations, he took a quality time of his life challenging it. And brothers and sisters, when he prevailed, doors were open. It was as if the blessings have left heaven, but to now come to this realm. And Daniel remained in prayer. Please hear me. Anything that kills your prayer life has stopped you from your breakthrough. It's not the issue of I'm called into the ministry of prayer or not. Forget that nonsense that the devil brings. Men ought always. Luke 18 1 he spake this parable if you are alive you don't pray because of fear you pray because it's a spiritual transaction it makes things possible in this realm hallelujah we're going to pray one more time and you're going to say Lord one more time visit this issue of limitation in my life and my family Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Mention the aspects where you are facing limitation. Don't feel embarrassed. Mention them and say, Lord, let your fire come upon it. Lift your voice and pray. Koinonia, pray. Pray your way to breakthrough. Sopata. Teka. Repotopakata. We lift up an incense of prayer. 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 Change lives. Break limits. Financial limits. Support Satan intellectual limits marital limits job limits we break it 
Sopotopata. We break limitations, business limitations, ministry limitations, limitations of potentials. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Every time limits are broken, the Lord will bring a man to hold your hands and create the opportunity for the next level of your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Bishop Oyedeko will say there are days and there are certain days. May this night be the certain day. Listen. Your next level is in the hands of a certain man. The Bible says they wanted to kill Joseph but a certain man came and they said they wanted to buy him. If not because of that certain man, they would have killed him. Are you following me now? The Bible talks about a man who was crippled. He could not carry himself. Certain men, no names, they lifted him and opened the sink. Oh God, whoever is that certain man that must appear in my destiny, I, com I compel them to come. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice. Destiny help us. Financial help us. Spiritual help us. Men of influence. Men of access. Sopotoposh. Rokotoposh. Reketetete. Men that will connect us to our next level. Men that will connect us to our next dimension. Please pray. Pray. Pray, pray. Lord, we call them for. Hallelujah. When Jesus died, hear me. The prophet prophesied that his body will not see corruption. But he was hanging on that cross. There was no place to bury him. And a certain man came called Joseph of Arimathea. An influential man if he was poor and broke the king would not hear him the Bible says a poor man's wisdom is despised you are going to pray concerning your finances does it make sense to you to pray we are going to pray and say Lord whoever must appear to change my financial destiny I receive their ministry come on now pray come on now pray support it Time and chance happens to them all. Time and chance. Be it a Cyrus or a son of the kingdom. Pray. We embrace their ministry. We embrace their ministry. I call them forth. Come on, pray. I call them forth. Men of influence, kings, destiny help us, spiritual help us, financial help us, academic help us. Men of influence, men who can talk to kings. Pray. Hallelujah. Please leave your neighbor. Joseph would have died in the prison. Although anointed, there are many people here, your anointing will remain dormant until God sends a man to see it, announce it, and let the world celebrate it. John the Baptist announced Jesus' ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of us, we have great ideas, great businesses, but there needs to be a certain man who will let the world know that great things are happening here. Please hear what I'm saying. There are many of you, your, your academic qualification 
is bigger than where you are you have done your best when you have done all you need to do you need another man who is not you are you hearing what i'm saying certain men certain men it was the wine presser that told the king he said i know my wrongs this day there is a man oh there is a man many of us have sharpened our spiritual potentials you have sharpened your leadership potentials it's not pride you know that it's time to break forth but the distance between you and the next level is that certain man lift up your hands oh god where is this certain man let him come into my life come on pray one more time takes one man to change your business one man to change your ministry one man one man hallelujah listen to me there are many of you here with great business ideas hallelujah all you need is capital you have done everything you should do you need somebody to believe in you enough hallelujah listen truly the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong one man can announce what god is doing in your life and bring to your life men who have been designed to honor it I shared that scripture to none of the widows in Israel was the prophet sent God sent that to the one who could see his difference and honor him many of you have been in a place you have potentials for the throne but something is tying you down because you are hanging around people who cannot see what God is doing in your life is God speaking to someone here there are many of our parents with their qualifications they should never have to beg even if, you, if the cost of living on earth is one million per day they should not be begging but they need one man to announce them one man to recommend them please take seriously what i'm saying because this is somebody's prayer request oh lord if somebody can believe in my business enough to pump even if it's just hundred thousand there are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us in ministry here we are great people this ministry you see today we enjoy recommendations mysterious recommendations while i was coming somebody was trying to call me again and again from the uk and he was saying man of god don't ask me how i got to find out about you and have your number he said when a man is in trouble he will look for help anyhow are you getting my point while you are sitting down to sleep somebody is waking others to talk about you but you must activate it it doesn't happen by magic are you getting what i'm saying there are many professors and doctors being underutilized because there is a system that cannot honor what they carry there are many of you who graduated with excellent results you've even added masters and the king sent for joseph somebody must send for you to leave the level that you have and i prophesy whoever should send for you in the name that is above all names listen listen there is a man of god a popular man of god i'll not mention names the man had the gift of god like whatever but nothing could announce that grace are you hearing what i'm saying people needed his anointing and his gift but nobody could announce it and then something happened one day he entered a taxi true story when he entered the taxi the holy spirit told him sow a seed of thirty thousand naira to the driver and he didn't have much and he told the driver take and he sowed that seed ah 
the driver looked at him he said what will i give you he said nothing he said sir can i collect your number and he collected his number please listen to me this is a true story when he collected his number the guy dropped he said talk may god bless you he was feeling bad he did not know that that was his moment of victory listen the very next person that will enter that car listen they were part of the regional organizers of redeem the convention in uk are you getting me one of the regions and then the man was talking and said we're looking for a man of god to complete the ministers we are bringing and we need men of integrity you know and the driver said sir there was a man that gave me his number this guy is a true man of god and that was it i'm serious they called him and they said sorry we are from this this region of redeem i tell you they brought that man after that ministration there were so many men of God that he never would have been able to see. Are you getting my point? They all called him and said, we'd like you to come and, and minister. Mike Mudok met a young man who was very gifted. Gifted, but there was nothing working in his life. And Mike Mudok looked at him and came. And he said, God told me to bless you. He wrote 17 letters to different ministries and said, this is an anointed man. Please open doors for him. And the guy got 17 invitations everybody it does not take time to change your story what looks like a mountain is in the pocket of another person are you hearing what i'm saying are you tired of praying are you tired of praying because we must call them for i don't want to waste your time let me just share it i don't know if you shared this testimony did you share your testimony Erima? i'm not sure he shared his testimony maybe at an appointed time but let me say a bit of it what ambassador? Eh? Unilever. This come. He just came back today. We met together at the airport in Abuja and then we came back together. By the grace of God, are you getting my point? And by the ministry of just one great man, Prof. Hallelujah. He has been selected as the ambassador of Unilever Nigeria. Are you, listen, listen, listen. The race is not to the swift. They just came back from their training in Lagos. And we even bombed. I was waiting for my luggage and I just saw him. And they had told me, he called me in Lagos and he said he was around. We never met. How God can change a man's story. My father worked for more than 10 or 15 years as assistant director of engineering. There was no man to lift him. His genius were rising and they, they, they just trampled this man. And it so happened that one man who used to be his junior, he when, when we went for crusade in 2006, six years, he was the one who interpreted for me. And he was also the one who interpreted for Renard Bonke when he came to Joss. He was that man. On account of the kindness, he went and said one or two things about my father. And when they went to my father's um, CV and all of that, they said, where has this man been? They said, immediately, he should leave Joss and report to Lagos. He has been there for three years now. Many of us are praying, Lord, take me to the next level. I'm telling you the secret. You need a man. Hear me. There are things you cannot do for yourself. You may be anointed, but your grace will remain there until a man can announce. You may have a great business, a multi-million and billion dollar business, but it takes one man to believe in you and announce you. Are you getting my point? I know one of my friends. He was my classmate. Very intelligent and brilliant guy. This guy finished, furthered his education. There was nobody to speak for him. And this guy kept struggling for years. Nobody to speak for him. And one day I, I prayed. I said, oh Lord, but help this guy. This guy has paid the price. Look, when I say, I, I think I will classify him as a genius. And I'm not telling a lie. But I know other people, before they even finish service, the road has been made plain. You need someone in your life. Please pray and say, oh God, send this man that can believe in me and announce what you have invested in my life. Please pray. Send a man to change my music ministry, oh God send a man send a man into my family koinonia pray we are rounding up
Sopotopata. Send a man. Send a man. Send a man. Send a man into my life. Pray for your business. Pray for your job. One recommendation is all you need. One man who can believe in you. Struggling continues until there is a voice that can speak for you. Struggling continues until there is a man that can believe in you and invest in your grace. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. I want to prophesy into your life. I truly believe that this miracle service will bring remarkable results. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, please. As much as possible, if you can stand, stand inside and outside. Has thou commanded thy money? This system of God's kingdom does not work without it being activated. Hallelujah. Don't get too familiar that every miracle service we are speaking, there is something that is happening. Hallelujah. We are entering the eighth month. And I want to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of your son Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, I prophesy right now whoever needs to come into anyone's life for the next dimension of their lives to open up i call them forth right now in the name of jesus i call them forth right now in the name of jesus i call them forth right now in the name of jesus business help us ministry help us marriage help us anyone called jobless in this place in the name that is above all names we command by the power of the holy ghost let doors of job be open right now let it be open right now anyone called barry 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 in the name that is above all names we provoke fruitfulness we provoke fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Anything in your life that is dying, business, ministry, potentials, your gift, your ideas, your proposals, your letters, your visions, your dreams, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I knock on the door of life and I command that let there be life, 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 life to that dry boat. Hallelujah. Everything that represents tragedy and disfavor in your life, that it keeps working for others until it gets to your turn, in the name that is above all names, may supernatural doors of favor be open right now. hallelujah i want to pray for your finance the lord is leading me to do this as many of you who believe it please can you hold a seed in your hand get a seed for some of you it may be a sacrificial seed if you don't believe it just just forget about it we don't cajole people we don't tell lies i want to speak into your finances hallelujah please lift it up Is our prayer and our duty that God will come through in every area of our lives. But let me tell you something. It will take a seed to open up the heavens. Just leave the hands. Leave the hands. I want to rebuke the devourer 
for some of you this is for you a seed of mercy to speak over your non-tithing for some of you this is a seed of wisdom to open you up to ideas of wealth for some of you this is a seed of open heavens a seed of breakthrough just lift it up lift it up Hallelujah. the Lord is showing me 11 people the fire of God is coming on your seed from your hand 11 people 11 people right now Lord let your power move let them know that this is not just a conjuring of men 11 people 11 people super yatamba let that seed be salted with fire we give it a voice in the realm of the spirit please lift it up let me speak with this seed aya, the power of god is moving because poverty poverty is one thing that god hates don't ever let anybody convince you that god is the author of lack and poverty your seed your seed is the key to getting out of this level Trust me, this is not a financial gimmick. Father, right now, with this seed, in the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of poverty, goodness, goodness. How could we have ended this service without prophesying? Look at spirits. I see it in the spirit. There is an exit of wicked forces tying people's finances father in the name of jesus we release by the mystery of divine supply let there be abundance now let there be abundance now everything that has tied your financial life and that of your family we contend together as a family that it must be released in the name of jesus go ahead and drop the seed and pray in tongues quickly Please, we are rounding up. Please, quickly, ushers, let's save time. Many of you will experience breakthroughs, mighty breakthroughs. Lift your hands, we are not done, please. We are out of time, we have to hurry up. Please, make sure you drop something. Make sure a seed leaves you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep the hands lifted. The ushers will get to you. But please, there is somebody outside. Ah, a mighty manifestation. The spirit of poverty is being broken outside. Outside, just lift your hands, please. I know we're out of time. Just give me one minute. You don't need to bring the people. Outside, just keep the, the hands lifted. Father, whoever those people are, let the fire of God locate them right now. Right now right now right now poverty be broken i cast that spirit i cast that spirit i cast that spirit hallelujah say the blessing of the lord is my inheritance say the blessing of the lord is my inheritance and through my giving I access that inheritance father now I'm praying for you now every limitation over anyone's life may that limitation fall now and every destiny helper that needs to come into your life to bring your life partner to bring your business partner to bring to connect you with graces in the name of Jesus we release them into your life hallelujah give Jesus praise Lord Jesus. give Jesus praise hallelujah let me make an altar call very quickly right now there are many of us here you have never given your heart to the Lord please listen inside and outside We've never truly made that commitment to Jesus. 
Some of us have given our hearts to the Lord, but we have found ourselves derailing. And tonight, God is calling you home. Wherever you are, please leave your seat and come right now. Celebrate them. They are coming. Celebrate them. Don't wait for anybody. Jump up on your feet and come. Outside, wherever you are, God is talking to you and saying you need to make your, your ways right with Jesus. Please come. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't wait for anybody. Don't wait for anybody. Don't be ashamed. I know there are a number of people outside. Jesus is calling you to make your ways right. Jesus is calling you. Keep coming. God bless you. Hallelujah. We're out of time. Keep coming. Pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you my heart. Take my everything. Use me for your glory. Today, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I make up my mind to walk with the Spirit of God. I denounce sin. I denounce Satan. And I receive the grace of God to live a victorious Christian life. Father, I pray for these ones. Bless them. Anoint them. Use them. May their decisions last. May their decisions be true. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you for coming. Thank you for making this decision. I'd like you to follow the usher. Follow the usher and he's going to lead you. Hallelujah. Now, while I take the announcement, if this is your first time of worshiping with us, I'd like you to leave your seat and just run out here. We want to bless and speak a word of prophecy over you. God bless you. We celebrate you. Outside, no matter how far you are, come. Come, encourage them, Koinonia. Encourage them. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, sir. Come on, Koinonia. This is not the best. We are grateful people in this house. We are grateful people. He brought them by the finger of God. Hallelujah. Keep coming. God bless you. Keep coming. God bless you. Thank you so much for making our time to come. Hallelujah. We honor you. We celebrate you. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. This is our miracle service. We are here every Friday and God is building us. We want to pray and prophesy into your life right now. I want you to believe it because you will see the hand of God. The Bible says, who has believed our report and to whom the hand of the Lord has been stretched? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Saints of God, stretch your hands and let's bless them. They came because they believed that God will step into their lives. Stretch your hands. We prophesy over every aspect of your life. God is coming through for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever challenge you came here with, we are assuring you that you will not return with it. We bless you with hunger for the things of God. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with the presence of God. We bless you with love for God. In the name of Jesus. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.